Um, drug overdose deaths are on the rise nationally right now with fentanyl coming from China by way of Mexico. That is the leading cause of this national opioid addiction epidemic. And joining us now for more on why this is happening is former DEA Special Ops agent Derek Maltz back with us on the show. Derek, good morning. Happy Thanksgiving. Good to see you. Same to you, Rob. Thank you. Um, so the U.S. right now is on target for over 100,000 overdose deaths this year. That's the most in our history. This is all on Joe Biden's watch. Why is this not a bigger issue nationally? Well, a couple of reasons. Number one, the politics on the southwest border, right? The politicians do not want to admit that the Mexican cartels are flooding the country. They're sending their confidants in America to set up their operations throughout our cities. They don't want the public to understand China's role in this global crisis that we have now in our country. We can't accept that 100,000 Americans have died in a year from poisonous drugs. So I have a challenge for the president and the vice president, our border czar. Can they even say the word fentanyl? Can they even talk about hmm. China's role with the Mexican cartels? Are they going to admit to the public that China is providing all the chemicals and the money laundering services, Rob? We spoke about this. Without the chemicals, without the money, you can't produce the poison. And right now we have to shut down the poisonous supply of not only fentanyl, but methamphetamine. Yeah. I'm not sure if you, you, you saw the story last week, Rob. They hit a record-breaking load of meth and fentanyl in San Diego, the Border Patrol, CBP, and Homeland Security investigations, right? They hit 17,000 pounds of meth in a tractor trailer. They hit 380 pounds of fentanyl. And then did you see the seizure of the lab in Mexico on October 28th? Yeah, we talked about that. It was producing... That. 70 million pills. Derek, it's, I mean, the numbers are, are shocking. And 100,000 overdose deaths, I mean, think about it. We're approaching 800,000 when it comes to COVID-19. We still don't know where COVID came from. China's not cooperating. We're about to go celebrate the Olympics there. Can you describe for us China's role in the drug process? I think people think drugs coming over the southern border, they don't equate that necessarily to China, which seems like a world away. But they play a huge role in the drugs that are pouring over our southern border. So, Rob, a couple of real quick things. Back in 2008, they started producing synthetic cannabinoids, cathinones in labs in China, like Wuhan-style labs. Right. They were poisoning our kids back 09, 2010, 2011. Right around 2012, 2013, they started making fentanyl, synthetic opioids, in these same labs. They started blitzing the country in mail, right? You're buying it on the Internet. Kids were buying it all over the country. They were dying it started becoming overwhelming with the amount of deaths, like in New England and Florida. And what happened was it caught us off guard. We were like, what the hell's going on? So if you if you flash forward, then they started realizing, and President Trump put a lot of pressure on China, they actually uh, controlled a lot of the fentanyl analogs, all of the analogs. So they started shifting, sending the fentanyl that's already produced right to Mexico. Yeah. The cartel started recognizing the business opportunity and now what you have is all the chemicals to make the fentanyl are now being sent And the numbers started to... going down. Prior to 2020, 2019 and 2020 were rough years. But prior to that, we did see a drop in the numbers. Just quickly, about 15 seconds, Derek, while I have you, uh, this was breaking news. A federal jury says that CVS, Walgreens, and Walmart didn't do enough to stop the flow of opioid pills into two Ohio counties. Is this a good thing? Is this the start of some accountability? Yeah, except it should have been done 15, 20 years ago. Right. The manufacturers and the distrib distributors of lit legitimate opioids were the ones that caused all the addiction in America. So they were never held accountable because big money, corruption in the government, in the beltway. It's all about money, Rob. Yeah, and they didn't want to slow it down. And so thank God, finally, there's some justice. Derek Maltz, we appreciate you being on with us on this Wednesday before Thanksgiving. Have a great holiday. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks for the update. Thank you.